In this lesson, we are going to learn how to assign the bead labels to the shear walls. First, I want to tell you why we need to assign the bead labels or the spandrel labels to the shear walls. That is because e tabs until this moment deal with the shear walls as a shell, which means that it will carry moment only out of plan. So, I want the walls to act like columns carry normal forces and moments in plan. So we need to tell ETABS that we want walls to act like columns, not like shells. So that we must assign the bead labels to the shear walls. So I am going to do that. First, we need to define a new bead labels. So go to the define menu, then select bead labels. In our project, we have four shear walls, two L-shaped shear walls, and two cores, which means that I need to define eight bead labels. So change the name to B2, then click add new name. Now I am going to repeat this step to define all labels. So here we have defined the 8 bead labels, so click OK. Now I am going to assign these bead labels to the shear walls. First, activate plan view window, then select all stories to assign the bead labels to all stories one time. Now go to the select menu, select, now click on object type. Here in this form, select the walls. Next, right click in an empty place and click show selected object only. Now go to the assign menu, shell, then click on bead label. Here as you can see, all previous bead labels we have defined have been listed here. Now select P1, then select one of the shear walls, then click apply. As you can see, a tabs has named the shear wall to P1. Next, select P2, then select another shear walls, then click apply. Now I am going to repeat these steps to the other shear walls. Now I have finished. As you can see, all shear walls have a beard label. Now, it is the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn how to assign the frame sections. So, hang on for that.